All right. So you've created your iMovie project. You've given it a title and still set up the basic options on it. The next thing we need to do is we need to add some video clips so that we can start building our movie. Now you'll notice I've actually got several in my event browser here that I could add to my movie. Um, but And I've got more here. If I go to iPhoto videos, it shows me videos that have been imported directly into iPhoto when I, for example, hooked up my iPhone to sync to my computer. Um, I can add more videos, however, by coming here to the camera import window. Click on this button. Now, if it's the first time you've turned it on uh, in a project since you've hooked up a device, for example, uh, your iPad 2 or newer, your, your iPhone, a digital video camera or whatever, it will search for it, locate it, and then it'll bring up a list of all the videos that are on there. Now you can see the videos I have here, and by default, all of them are technically selected for import. Notice there's no check boxes and yet it says import checked. That's a little strangeness, but if you click on manual, I can bring it up so that I can say check all or uncheck all and actually manually pick the specific videos that I want to import. So for example, if I want this video clip here, I can click import checked. It will bring up a window that asks me where I want to save it to. I'm going to say add to the existing event. That's the only thing I'm going to change, and I'm going to say import. Notice this processing right here. The shorter the video, the faster the processing. Obviously, if you have a really long video clip, it's going to take longer. It processes it, goes through a couple of seconds of changes there, and then you're done. Imported 12 seconds from one clip. Thank you very much. Now another place you can import video on this camera import window is you can come here and you can actually select your FaceTime HD camera. And that will actually record from the camera that's built into your iMac. And as you see here, there I am. If you want to, you can just simply say capture. And it takes just a second. It's going to give you that same window where it asks where you want to capture it to. I'm going to say add to existing event, say capture and it starts recording. When I'm through recording, which that's probably enough, I'm going to say stop. It's going to generate a little menu like that, and then I'm going to say done, and I am gone. And now if I look under last import, look, there's my video I just recorded, eerie. And here's the other video that I imported, okay? So all of my videos are there. Now the next step is I want to actually get them into the timeline. So what I need to do is pick which videos I want. For example, if I want this video, now here's a couple options. I can do just part of a video. If I want part of this video here, there's a storm video. I'm going to do this one. And I just want this little five second clip right here. I can click and drag the highlight, the five seconds I want. Then I can drag that part up into my movie. If I want a whole clip, such as this one, if I hold my shift key down, hold your shift key down and then click on the clip, whoops, you will get that entire clip. Now I can drag that up in here. And notice, by the way, I actually select multiple selected clips. If you already have one you're working on and then click on another one with shift key down, it'll select all of both. So I actually, if I have a whole bunch of clips, like if I go back here and I wanted to do this clip, shift click and this click whoops didn't mean to shift all of them let's try that again uh, and say this one here and I get those two I can actually drag both of those up in here at the same time and it's gonna give me a little tip but I don't need it and now you can see I've got my video clips imported into my project uh, browser. Now if I decide I don't want one of those clips, for example if I want to get rid of this clip here, I can simply click and drag over it and I can control click on it and I can say delete the entire clip and it is no longer with us. Alright, so that's basically how you get movies or video clips into your event browser and then into your project browser.